yesterday. I've just been back at work. I've been very tired. The first week back at work is always a struggle, isn't it? But yeah, it's the weekend again. And I am officially about a week, officially over a week into Veganuary now. It's going really well. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'm definitely going to try and continue it as much as I can into February. And the rest of the year, I really don't miss meat at all. The only time I think I'd miss meat is if I was out and about at McDonald's. Please get your vegan burgers in. I need them. But yeah, other than that, I'm really not missing it. I'm really enjoying using all the beans and the chickpeas and I've got my veggie sausages and things like that. So I'm really quite happy. Like I said, I think before it's snacks for me, but I have found some snacks now that are vegan and we're, we're doing good. So I thought I'd give you a little rundown of my weekly shop. I think it's gonna actually last me like two weeks. The sort of things I buy for a vegan diet. So I've got quite a few recipes planned over the next few while. Tonight I'm gonna make a lentil dal for the family. I'm gonna make tomato and basil soup, I think maybe tomorrow for lunches perhaps. Yeah, so I'm just gonna give you a rundown of the things I've been buying. So for breakfast, I have been having crumpets. Not the healthiest, but I'm not really a breakfast person, so I don't like breakfast foods really. So crumpets are like the one thing I do actually enjoy. It's handy that they're vegan. Got some bagels. I've really been enjoying bagels with, yeah, I've really been enjoying bagels, toasted bagels dipped into hummus. That is my favorite lunch at the moment. It is so tasty. Um, I've already started these, as you can see. It's a good one. If you've not tried toasted bagels, hummus, and balsamic dressing, mm, so good. I bought an avocado. Avocado! Thanks! I've not actually had an avocado in ages. I don't really know why I picked up, but yeah, I'll be having an avocado toast one day, which I'm very excited for. A little bit of chili flakes. Delicious. Let's mention snacks next. So, my favourites. I am on my second packet. Actually, no. Since Veganuary started, I am down three and a half packets of Oreos. We're only on day nine. <laughs> so, yeah, I've kind of formed an addiction. Before, it was Maryland cookies. Can't have Maryland cookies anymore. It's now Oreos. And it's actually getting quite bad at how addicted to these I am. I really want a cup of tea and an Oreo right now. Um, we've got some, just original hula hoops. Crisps is probably the main thing that I miss. A lot of my crisps, my favourite crisps, are vegan. Um, so I'm having to pick up old favourites, which I'm not mad about. I've not had Pringles, um, Pringles. I've not had hula hoops in a very long time, so yum. And we've got some salt and vinegar McCoys. Again, these used to be my absolute favourite years ago. It's the only snacks I actually really have because I don't actually know what else is vegan. So if you've got any vegan snack, Options, um, please let me know because it is the thing that I'm finding the most difficult to replace. I'm going to mention these now because I need to get them back in the freezer. Some vegan sausages, so these are my absolute favourites. These are the Linda McCartney vegetarian red onion and rosemary sausages. But these actually are um, suitable for vegans. These are so good. These in a bun for like breakfast or um, in a pasta dish. I had these in a pasta dish the other night. So good. I love these things. I've eaten these for over a year now. Yeah, I buy these all the time instead of actual sausages. Uh, so that's something I've always... For the last year or so, I've always I've always had in the freezer. But I thought I'd give these ones a go as well. I've never tried these ones before, but these are the Richmond meat-free sausages, which are vegan approved. Yeah, I've never tried these, but I've heard good things. My friend Laura said that they're really good. So I thought I'd pick them up and see what they were like. So if there's one morning where my family are having sausages, I can have my Richmond sausages. I bought some tofu. Again, tofu is something I've bought for a long time now. I love it in stir fries. This tofu is going to be used for, I'm going to try and make a tofu katsu curry. I am going to slice the tofu into like strips essentially, coat them in breadcrumbs. We're going to make some katsu sauce. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be nice, I hope. I'm not sure I'm going to get the family to try that one, but that's fine. They're going to miss out. That's okay. They can miss out if they want but I'll very much enjoy it. <laughs> got some soy milk, again, something that has been in my diet for a very long time now. I've never, I've not drunk milk in over a year, um, maybe even like coming on to two years. So probably all these sort of things that I'm showing you that I said I've been eating for a while, it's probably been like two years in the making. You know, we've just got all the veg, we've got some spring onions, onion, courgette, and carrots. I've got some mushrooms, I've got peppers, and you know, just, I love packing everything I make full of veggies. Make it so healthy, sweet corn, spinach, 
every meal I make has to have spinach in it. If you want some goodness in your meals, chuck some spinach in because it wilts down to nothing and you basically don't even know it's in your food. So for another meal I'm going to make black bean, butternut squash and sweet potato curry. So I've made it before but I'll need to try and find the recipe because I know it's vegan but I don't know what, where it is. Um, but we've got some black beans, we've got sweet potatoes and we've got the butternut squash i'm very excited about this one it was really tasty last time i made it and probably like a year ago that'll be a dish made with like curry sauce it'll probably be like chopped tomatoes and um, all the spices which i've got in the cupboard already but i'll show you guys me making all my recipes that i've got planned um and all the ingredients that'll be involved had to pick up more chickpeas put these through my curries noodles because you can't go wrong with stir fry i think i'm saying tofu stir fries and butter beans are a good one for um curries as well the basil for the tomato and basil soup that i'm making lentils so the plan for tonight's meal is lentil dal you bring the family will eat it if not more for me lentil dal so got some coconut milk yeah that's my food shop that is what i bought for probably a little over a week yeah, that's my little food shop for like veganuary. It's not a huge change for me, veganuary. I was pretty much vegetarian. 80% vegetarian, I like to call myself. I'll try and make that 90% from February onwards. A lot less of everything that I've been consuming. I'm, I'm enjoying it, so I'm gonna leave it there and I'll see you guys when I'm making my lentil dal. Well, actually, I'm going out for a walk with Laura. So me and Laura are going to take Casper out for a walk around Scotson Moor. It's been snowing, so it's going to be a fun one. He loves the snow, so yeah, that'll be all cosy. Well, actually, that won't be cosy, but play with the dog in the snow. Oh, forgot one last thing. I picked up some Hellman's vegan mayonnaise. I love this stuff. To me, there's not really much taste difference. I mean, it's not quite as um, mayonnaise-y, but it's a good substitute. Yeah, another thing that I will not be buying normal mayonnaise from now on, I will stick to the Hellman's. Mm -hmm.